as the saying goes, everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. Mike Tyson is considered one of the world's most dangerous boxers of all time during his prime. The former undisputed world heavyweight champion dominated the ring for several years. However, despite his fearsome reputation, some of his opponents didn't consider him a threat before they got into the ring with him. Unfortunately, most of them learned the hard way and got destroyed by Mike Tyson. In this video, we've compiled some of the best moments in Mike Tyson's career when his cocky opponents got destroyed and humbled by the great Iron Mike. After being paroled from prison, Mike Tyson faced his second opponent in the person of Buster Mathis Jr. in December 1995. Buster Mathis Jr. is the son of former boxer Buster Mathis and he has built a reputation for himself, coming into this bout with a clean record of 20-0. Before the fight, Buster Mathis Jr. was so confident that he would defeat Tyson and he repeatedly dismissed him as a threat. You know he's coming with left hooks, he's coming out wide, he's coming out swinging hard, he's coming out fast. I gotta do the same thing, I gotta do, I gotta bring it to Mike. Like I said, Mike not gonna get into my mind, I'm gonna do what I gotta do to beat Mike Tyson, plain and simple, I'm not afraid. For every action, there's a reaction. So everybody know how Mike Tyson is gonna act November 4th. So it's up to me how I'm going to react. Well, I ain't going to tell you. Help the public understand, I mean, you're a young fighter at age 25 with 20 fights under your belt, but what should give the public confidence that you really can give Mike Tyson a good fight? Well, you know, um, I'm very confident, you know, and uh, when I'm going to fight Mike Tyson, I know what Mike knows. He's from the school of Del Motto, and uh, my father was trained on the Del Motto, Fair Yellow. Train, was trained under the DM model, so I know what Mike Tyson's going to do. Now it's up to me what I'm going to do. He's underestimated me, and uh, I love when people underestimate And this won't be an 89-second uh, bout against Mike Tyson on November 4th? I am no McNeely. I'm Buster Mathis, and uh, I, I, I can bring it to him. The anniversary in charge, Frank Cappuccino. Good evening, gentlemen. You were both given your instructions. Protect your sack at all times. Touch gloves. To his credit, may this was a tough opponent. He prevented Tyson from unloading his power shots in the first two rounds by fighting in a close range. We'll see what happens when he gets hit, though. Body punches. There's a shot by Mike Tyson with the left. You know what? The puncher yeah, said, I have to. And misses again with the left. From the top of the left. Then he comes with the right. Punch combination. Behind the jab. Tyson misses twice with the right. However, in the final minute of round three, Tyson managed to create an opening and landed successive right uppercuts that dropped Mathis to the canvas. As you know, I made the move when I caught him, and I tried to catch him again, then I caught him off the top of the head again. Then there's another one, just glanced and really didn't hit him as hard as I anticipated to hit him. But I On March 21st, 1988, Mike Tyson defended his undisputed heavyweight title against former WBA champion Tony Tubbs. As an amateur, Tubbs won the gold medal at the World Cup, and as a professional, he had compiled an impressive record of 24-1 before facing Mike Tyson. His only loss was against Tim Witherspoon in 1986. However, an arrogant Tubbs pronounced himself one of the best heavyweights in the world and claimed that he was better than Mike Tyson. I got to come in the ring because I feel good about my weight and I feel good to win. At 28-30, I'm strong and I'm fast. Mike Tyson got to deal with that. You'll be seeing the new Tony Tubbs. When I step in the ring, everyone say, wow, look at that cat. You know, and the thing about it, once I start putting the moves down on Mike Tyson, I'm going to change. You know what? This fight might not be hard as y'all think it's going to be because Mike Tyson is, 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 is only good for what he can hit. You know right now that I am one of the best heavyweights in the world. I can box better than any of them. And I, I ain't taking no back seats to none of them. I'm not even taking the back seat to Mike Tyson. 
Mike and Tony, you both received instructions earlier in the day and therefore you know the rules. I wish you both an awful lot of luck now. Return to your corners to await the starting bell. Good luck. That's Arthur McCanty doing his... Tyson came out aggressively in the opening round, but Tubbs was able to trade punches with him and land several jabs while avoiding incoming shots. Mike Tyson, he's able to throw it, throw the same punch twice, under no. Tyson missed with the left hook. Good body shot, but the combinations there. 30 but with only a few seconds left in round two, Tyson caught Tums with a left hook that reeled him before he went down to the canvas. It was a left hook. And it's over. Odell Hadley has jumped in the ring. The fight is over. The left hands which did the damage. Well, Tyson now starting to find his rank. The left hook there pretty much did spoke for itself. It's self-explanatory because it was a short and powerful left hook that put Tony Tubbs down. And here Mike still showing that he is a good finisher. What was happening actually was that Tyson was wearing down Tubbs because Tubbs tried to stay inside and fight Mike Tyson's fight, which I thought was a mistake. Once again, that's short left hook. And uh, for those who say Mike is not really one punch knocker outer, I think they need to look at Still, the undefeated, undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. After beating Tony Tucker to become the undisputed heavyweight champion in 1987, Mike Tyson's first defense was against Olympic gold medalist Tyrell Biggs in October 1987. Both fighters came into the bout with an undefeated record. Tyson was at the peak of his career with a professional record of 31-0, while Biggs had a record of 15-0. However, Biggs was confident that he could defeat Tyson ahead of their showdown. After all, he had won the gold medal in the 1984 Olympics, the same boxing team for which Tyson had failed to qualify. And as good as I am, I know that I, I know how good I am. And for me to have been criticized and the whole shot, I mean, you know, I owe it to myself to go out there and beat Michael Tyson like I am his dad. It's, he's made for me, Ty's son. I, I owe it to myself to go out there and beat this fellow and be called the new undisputed heavyweight champion in the world. The opening round began with Biggs working the jam from a distance and using a lot of movement to avoid Tyson's attack. However, Tyson kept coming forward and as the round progressed, Biggs was forced to abandon his initial game plan. Tyson continued to increase the pressure and pound away with hooks and right hands. And Tyson neutralized the jab. You see, same thing. One, two. And he throws. And there was a huge. With 30 seconds left in round seven, Tyson connected with a left hook that sent the challenger stumbling backward. Biggs was able to get up, but Tyson continued his assault, sending Biggs reeling to the canvas with a left hook. And 10 seconds to go in a round. There's a left hand. He's down again. It's over. It's all over. And it wasn't even close. Here's the final knockdown now. No, I, I think it's the power and the fact that Mike Tyson actually won. The winner, still the undefeated, undisputed, in the world, Mike Tyson! On March 16, 1996, Mike Tyson challenged British Frank Bruno for his WBC heavyweight title almost seven years after their first meeting. Bruno was ranked as one of the best heavyweights in the world and was known for his exceptional punching power. However, he could not match Tyson's power in their first meeting. Tyson knows he's got him in big trouble. If he doesn't answer it, Richard Steele! Regardless, he claimed that he was better than Tyson and promised to knock him out in their rematch. Quite simple. A guy from England is coming to whip his ass. It's quite simple. I myself knocking out Mike Tyson spectacularly, knocking him out. There's no way. He just has to come straight at me all the time. Straight at me. But it'd be like running into a wall all the time. 
that was then, this is now, man. I'm the champ now, the WBC champ, and he's gonna try and take it off me, but he's only gonna get a look at it because his time has gone. Very much a fighter, you know I mean? I've been an underdog all of my life, and I've been up to the mountains four times, and this is my time, this is Bruno's time, Tyson's had his time, you know? He's made his money, I'm gonna do him a favor and knock him out, right into Don King's lap. Well, Frank, at age 34, why should we suspect things would be different seven years later? Well, just turn up on Saturday the 16th of March, and you'll see how things are gonna be different. I'm gonna knock him right into Don King's lap, quite simple. Not being flash, not being cocky, I've got a family to support, three. You a flat? Beautiful wife, a wife. Sorry? You flatly predict a knockout then? Knockout right into Don King's lap. He was in his, well, he is in his grave now, and you can see all them amateurs and them terrible people behind him. He'll be turning in his grave, you know what I mean? To have all them people shouting confidence, he must be lacking in something. But I want to knock him out so good into Don King's lap and wipe him off the map because he's bad for boxing and his people are bad for boxing. Mike, if he goes right here, I'm not going to call it low, all right? Tune in, Now, you've already had your instruction. This is for the championship of the world. I expect a tough, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Any questions, Mr. Tyson? From the moment both fighters stepped inside the ring, fear was boldly written all over Bruno's face. Tyson saw this and immediately went for the attack after the opening bell, opening a cut above Bruno's left eye in the opening round. You can't fix it, Jim. That was never great to begin with. A left hook by Tyson, but Bruno comes. Yeah, you got the water. Here you see where Tyson wobbles him with a big right hand, right on the button. Now you wonder if that was... Tyson continued to dominate the fight with vicious combinations that landed clean. Oh, a left hook by Mike Tyson, flush on the face of Frank Bruno, another left. And a... Then, in round three, he unloaded a flurry of unanswered punches that forced the referee to step in and stop the fight. In January 1988, legendary former champion Larry Holmes came out of retirement to challenge reigning undisputed heavyweight champion Mike Tyson. Holmes was one of the most dominant heavyweights in the 1970s and 1980s. He became a world champion in 1987 and went on to successfully defend his title 20 times, including a stoppage win over former world champion Muhammad Ali in 1980. However, following two controversial losses to Michael Spinks, Holmes retired briefly in 1986. The outspoken former champion promised several times before the fight that he would knock Tyson out. Few things that we have to work out yet, but it's a deal, you know. Uh, I'm ready to go in there with Mike uh, sometime in January, whatever day they want, and hope it's going to be on HBO because I want the world to be able to see it. And out of this fight, I hope it's such thing as fairness. Last time I didn't get it, and I complained about it, the world seen it. Now, I hope once they see it once more, it's fairness. I'm gonna knock this guy out. Seen uh, Tyson makes a lot of mistakes, and if he fights me dirty, that's what kind of fight it's gonna be all night, because I didn't see a class of fight. I didn't see a, a guy that with class in there tonight. I seen a guy that throws elbows, I seen a guy that throws butts, I seen a guy that hits after the bell. I seen all of this in Mike Tyson. I didn't see a gentleman in there. If they wanna make him out of a beast that he's claimed to be, He's going to be in there with a beast. I'm an experienced, professional fighter. I am no kid. I do not play. So if he wants to fight any way he wants to fight, I am capable of fighting any way anybody wants to fight. Everybody's... And think about it. After this fight, people are saying, Larry Holmes, why? They won't say that anymore after this because I know what I'm doing. Let me ask you... I but for Tyson, the fight against Holmes was a more personal business. Tyson wanted to avenge Holmes' victory against his greatest idol, Muhammad Ali, who was also a guest of honor ringside before the bout. Obey my commands at all times. Any questions? All right, shake hands. Good luck to both of you. All right, With From the opening round, 
homes found it difficult to keep up the pace with a much faster and stronger Tyson. The young champion dominated the early rounds, using his aggressive style to put Holmes in trouble. However, in round four, the former champion came out bouncing on his feet and connected with multiple jabs. But this didn't last long as Tyson caught him with a big right hand that sent him bouncing off the canvas. Down goes Larry Holmes! For one of the few times in his career, boy oh boy look at that! Holmes climbed to his feet, but Tyson dropped him two more times, giving him the only stoppage loss of his career. With the left hand, the right hand, digs to the body, goes to throw right hand, gets split with a big right hand. He won't get up from this one. It's all over. Joe Cortez. Same thing, different angle. Watch for it. Bates. Boom, right hand. Look at that. The power of that right hand. And Mike driving off his back foot. Okay because he's never been hurt like this before. Oh, that is a tough, tough punch. And the left hook digs to the body. He's out in his feet right here, goes to throw it, and it's caught, and it exposes his body. And then look, right there, boom. His head going one way.